strength and range of motion type workout. What you're going to need for today's workout, uh, uh, open wall space and ideally a chair, something that looks like this, that um, ideally you can move around, that's easy and affordable. So uh, we're going to get started right away. Please uh, always listen to the cues and if you're finding that these workouts are a little bit too challenging, please go back um, to the, the website and there's uh, some basic, basic introductory workouts for fundamentals one. So uh, to get started, what we're going to do is just review some of the basics uh, to warm you up. So just let's do a few little easy squats using the chair. Feet to uh, shoulder width apart or just slightly wider. Set the core down and back. Shoulders down, and I just want you to practice squatting up and down onto that chair. So we're just going to review some of the concepts uh, that we do when we're doing a squat. Today, just for your warm-up, I'm having you sit right down on the chair just to reestablish some of those movement patterns that we want that bum driving back. We want the knees staying behind the toes. As I'm squatting, I'm gently pressing my uh, knees out. I'm going to turn that towards the front so you can see what that looks like. And we're going to do about 10 more of those core nice and tight. Now, if you've pro progressed beyond this basic squat and you find that for a warm up you feel comfortable doing squats without sitting right down to the bench, that's fine. And we're going to do about four more. Remember to keep shoulders down, core tight, gently pushing those knees out as you squat down and up. You don't want those knees collapsing, in, especially on that transition period. And two more. And last one. Good, especially in these range of motion workouts. And what I would like you to do is just take it to uh, an easy march. Your choice, either an easy march, or you can do a little side to side, obviously you're doing a skip, or a little two foot hops. So do whatever one you feel comfortable with. When you do these range of motion workouts, very, very important that you listen to your body. Don't necessarily try to do the exact body position that I am, because everyone's got different flexibility. So you go until you feel comfortable flow, but you're still in control and there's no pain. Okay, comfortable stretch, no pain, please. And stack the feet, shoulder rolls backwards. Take the shoulder rolls into a great big arm stretch backwards. Do five of those, and then five sweeps forward. Can you tell if my whole uh, body position is in there? right into that workout because this is a range of motion uh, workout as well. Um, we don't need to do quite as much of a warm up because we'll be warming up throughout. So what I need you to do is to get yourself placed right back against your wall. I'm using this pole here, it's just easier with the kind of camera angles. You want to place your feet, you're going to have to experiment with this, but somewhere between six inches to a foot away. Start a little further to make sure your balance is okay. And what we're going to do, I want you to just soften your knees a little bit, roll the shoulders back, and what we're going to do is trickle the head down one vertebrae at a time, trying to peel that spine slowly away from the wall and drop all the way down, only as far as you can. Some of you, that's going to be your limit. If you can touch the ground, great. And then, if you can touch the ground a little further than me, that's fine too. You put your palms back to the floor. Now what I want you to do is start with your tailbone. Tuck your tailbone under, pull the belly button in, and slowly round your body all the way up against that wall. So from here, now I'm tucking the pelvis, and I'm slowly trying to position one vertebrae at a time up against that wall. I exaggerate the shoulder roll back, belly button is pulled in tight, and every single vertebrae I'm trying to push up against that wall. I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to build on this movement pattern. So slowly round down, one vertebrae is kind of really tightening through that core, trying to keep all the vertebrae on the wall until the very last minute, and then drop right down. Get a nice stretch, you should feel a good stretch through your hamstrings here. And if you're feeling like when you're coming back up, you're about to tip forward, you're too close to that wall, and it feels too easy, and you want a little bit more of a core challenge, get your feet further to the wall. So if at any point, though, I'm less reiterating, at any point you feel like you're going to tip forward, fall forward, step away from that wall, and roll the shoulders back. Okay, add it on. Slowly trickle down one more break in time. I'm just going to start my watch here so we make sure I stay on target for the time here. Drop 
down. Now from here, what you're going to do is walk your hands forward. Walk your hands forward. And you're going to go into, we're going to start off with a knee push-up position. So if you feel like you can do a full push-up, please go ahead and do so. But we're doing uh, hand release push-ups. So you're going to go all the way down, chest touches the ground, release those hands. So I'm trying to pull the hands up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then push up. Hand release, squeezing those shoulder blades. Hand release, squeezing those shoulder blades. The line from your shoulder hip to your knee should be nice and straight. So I don't want my bum poking up. I only want the space and tight. We're going to aim for the feet and knees. If you feel you can do it from your toes, please go ahead and do so. But today we're working on range as opposed to being able to do it from your toes. Okay, push back. You can tuck your toes under or keep your toes, um, shoelaces down, whichever feels most comfortable. Get a nice stretch through the lats. And from here, push up. So you're back into that push-up position, knees are bent, and slowly walk back. Okay, if you feel like you need to readjust, if you're not quite comfortable coming all the way back, go ahead and do so, whatever you need to, so you're back in that original position, up against the wall, head is coming down, belly button tucks in, slowly down up one more three at a time, and pull the shoulders down and back. And we're gonna start again. Core and tight. So this first part is the posture control through the spine, range of motion through the spine, and core control as you come down. Now we'll get to this point, head hangs, a little bit of nice traction through the neck, nice stretch through the hamstrings, and we're gonna walk out until your shoulders are stacked underneath, or your hands are stacked underneath. Your shoulders and knees go down, set the shoulders, and release push-ups. Release. Walking out 
body as close to the wall as possible. We do a little squat and this just gets you in the right position for how I want uh, this movement to look like. So this forces my bum back. So I'm in this, in a, sitting in my chair. I want you to stand up part way. So now I'm quarter way up. I want you to lift that inside leg and I want you to lean your body up against the wall and now I want you to try and push your knees out. And what you should feel is this bum cheek working and this inside bum cheek working. We're going to reset. Let's try resetting. Let's try that getting our feet just a little bit closer together. It might help out. So feet closer together. You're going to sit out of that chair. You're going to lift the inside leg. Now from here, just slightly. I'm just lifting it off just a tiny bit, an inch or so. I'm trying to keep my knees. I'm imagining that I'm pushing them out. My back is flat. And what I should feel is this guy working. It's called a, an isometric movement that we're doing here. So I'm squeezing, squeezing. Try to push my knee out without letting my foot come off the ground and then lower down. So I feel this quad working and I feel this guy up in here. I sit down, I come up out of that squat, establish balance, and I press my knees apart. Three, two, one, and lower down. Do one more. So I'm lifting up. I'm about a quarter squat. I lift the inside leg. And now I try to pry my knees apart without letting that foot lift up three. So I'm mainly feeling it now in here. A lot in the quad as well. Two, one, and release. Now we've got to do it on the other. So we switch the chair around. I go into a seated position on the chair. I have my feet about a little closer than hip width apart. I'm going to reach my hands forward so I can come out of the seated position, so I'm in about a quarter squat. I lift my inside leg, and now I actively push my knees apart. Now every time when I set this up on this first rep, I always find my feet are just a little bit too wide to really be able to establish in here. So sitting down back on the chair gives us a chance to correct that. We're gonna wiggle that outside foot in just a little bit. I'm gonna lift out of that chair. Inside leg comes up just slightly. Now I'm pushing my knees out five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Not only am I pushing that outside knee out without letting it actually go out, I'm imagining there's another wall on the other side. I'm pushing this inside leg into the wall. Hands reach forward, lift up, and press. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit back down onto your chair. Ready? Coming back up, quarter squat. 
Lift the inside foot, just slightly impress. Five, squeezing this leg into the wall. This leg out, three, two, one, and lower down. And last one, coming up. Lift the inside leg and press. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. And now we're gonna grab our chair, turn it around so I can lean onto it, and we're gonna stretch out that muscle, those muscles that we were just working. So I'm doing opposing, or sorry, alternating glute stretch here. Let's repeat all on one side to make it easier. Left leg comes over, hop back so I'm in a good position, and I'm pushing my bum backwards. As I'm doing this, I'm getting a nice pull in through the glute. This knee is staying behind that front toe. I'm using the chair for balance. Two more. And I'm going to switch over to the other side. So balance on the left leg. Use my hand to pull that knee up or that foot up if I need to. I'm resting the ankle just about at the bony part of the ankle on the thigh. Pushing my bum back, making sure my hips are square. Three, two, one. Okay. And we'll move on to the next one. You're going to be working your hamstrings and you're going to be getting a bit of a straddle stretch. So what I would like you to do is to lie on your back. I want you to place your palms up, core set. Toes come off the ground. That's going to force you to really think about pushing up your heels. Push your low back into the ground. Lift up. You're squeezing through the glutes and hamstrings. Hold for two seconds and lower down. So this first time I'm giving you is a little bit of a tester. You're going to see how challenging this stretch is, or sorry, this uh, strength movement is. So if you find that this is challenging you quite a bit, just stay at this level. The second time through we go through the series, then you can go ahead and try and do it single leg if that feels comfortable. If not, you're going back to this version. We've got two more, so you're squeezing glutes and hamstrings to lift up. Last one, core stays set. And now lower down. I want you to lift one foot in the air and just gently pull it towards the chest. Two, three, soft knee if you need to, four, five. Switch to the other side. One, two.